Welcome, welcome everybody to another episode of the Best Crypto and Real Estate Show. I'm Nick Boggs. I'll be your host today. Today, we're going to get into how to get an 8% discount on Bitcoin and USDT. But first, I need you guys to like this video and subscribe if you guys haven't done that already. If you guys have, welcome back. Appreciate you guys joining us. Let's get right into it. We'll talk about how to get that discount on Binance.us here in a minute. But first, I want to get into some stuff happening with the SEC and these ETFs that are going around for bought Bitcoin ETF trading. First of all, Grayscale is up in arms about this. They're really upset about there being a leveraged Bitcoin future being being accepted or being approved by the SEC. Grayscale has been locked in a lawsuit for over a year with the SEC, claiming that it has been unfair and arbitrary in its approval process. A lot would say is a more volatile or more risky asset class, this futures Bitcoin ETF being approved. And yet the spot Bitcoin ETFs have not been approved. And we're seeing that happen with BlackRock as well. However, BlackRock has since filed again. They've redone their filing because they're sure they can get this ETF. So kind of a big deal. We'll see how this plays out. But Grayscale is definitely pretty upset about it. And uh, they are voicing their opinion. Now, I wanted to get into what this SEC thing has done to the entire industry. And it seems like we all thought that the SEC was out to get crypto, out to be, to get rid of crypto, completely get it out of the entire ecosystem. But as this is playing out, as this is unfolding, and we're seeing what's happening right now with the likes of BlackRock and Voyager and Fidelity and these other huge pockets coming into the game and, and becoming a part of the Bitcoin, especially this ETF frenzy that's happening right now. What is becoming apparent to me, and I don't know if this is becoming apparent to you guys, I'd like to know your opinion, but it's not that the SEC was trying to do away with crypto, but it was trying to kind of use a stall tactic to let these big pockets into the game. See, the Larry Fink and, and others in, in these industries have all said they were against Bitcoin back as early as 2017, but now they're applying for a spot Bitcoin ETF. Why have they changed? They understand that crypto is not going anywhere, that this is an inevitability, that cryptocurrencies and especially the blockchain technology behind cryptocurrencies isn't going anywhere and they need to be a part of that game somehow. And it, it seems apparent to me now that this SEC scrutiny that's been happening has really been a stall tactic to allow these bigger players into the market. The article that I'll post in the description below, it states crypto pledged to dethrone Wall Street and now it's getting swallowed instead. And that is what I'm seeing, right? I was seeing that as, that the crypto industry was decentralized and we all held our own keys. It's our own crypto and nobody could tell us what to do or how, how to invest or what to invest in. But now I'm seeing that the SEC isn't against crypto. They're against us doing it ourselves. And I'm seeing this this narrative go to, well, if you are funding our pockets, if you are in, in telling us what to do, you're in the back seat telling us how to operate the government, how to operate the finance and economy, then we will allow it to happen as long as you guys are running the game. So that's the narrative I'm seeing play out. I'd love to know what you guys think. Please click on this article from the Washington Post and read through it and tell me what you guys think about this. I think it really told the story of how the SEC really is turning this around to let the big players in the game not necessarily turn off cryptocurrency altogether. So I'm really interested in what you guys think. And the last article I'll get into is how you guys can get that 8% discount. This actually goes with the Binance.us uh, depegging from Tether. And now Tether actually is addressing it on their own. They've come out and said a few things against it. But really, I want to tell you guys what's happening. We've seen Binance and Coinbase both get sued in the past month by the SEC. And that has played out huge. It's not necessarily stopping Binance or Coinbase from doing business, but it is gearing these banks into not doing business with Binance. So onboarding and offboarding your fiat into Binance has become increasingly difficult. Coinbase is running into their own problems in the same sector, but it seems like Binance has really taken a hit on this one. Binance has kind of stepped back from Binance.us. We take only a few percent of their global market. And so we've seen them kind of pay attention other places where they can onboard and offboard fiat a little easier. What we haven't seen is a fix all to this. What we're seeing is the banks actually not wanting to do business with uh, Binance.us and onboarding and offboarding that fiat through the banks. And so that is prohibiting Binance from doing business. Has it been outlawed yet? No. Have they been ordered to stop things? Yes, by the SEC in this current lawsuit that's happening, but not in a way where we should be able to or should have to stop onboarding or offboarding our fiat from Binance.us. 
success. But the banks are scared. The banks have run away. They stopped doing the business. So inevitably, Binance has uh, felt the burn from this. And so what's happening is there's a lot of currencies that normally would get arbitraged by professional investors and professional traders. And that's not happening because those arbitrage, those people that own the arbitrage bots or the arbitrage systems aren't able to onboard and offboard their fiat. And so they're pulling out of Binance, which in turn is letting that price difference between the Binance's exchange and other exchanges or the globally listed price, public price of Bitcoin are not matching up. So Yes, with USD, you can sometimes get a discount of up to about 8% on Bitcoin or USDT tethered. However, you can only do that with USD that you have in Binance right now. And since deposits aren't being allowed, I don't see many people with that opportunity to get that kind of a discount. But if you do have USD sitting there, not financial advice, but you can go pick up some Bitcoin at an 8% discount or even USDT at an 8% discount on Binance.us and then transfer it to your favorite exchange to uh, to offboard that if you needed the fiat. So there's your tip of the day. Go get your 8% discount on Bitcoin at Binance.us. Thanks, Binance.us, for at least something good coming out of this fiasco. I hope everything turns out in that lawsuit. I could see the SEC really pulling these bully tactics, but I think this is a, just a huge narrative to try to let these big pockets into the industry once they're in the industry. I think this is all going to get lifted. And we're going to see a lot more looseness in the industry as far as what we can and can't do with our own money. That's what I see is the biggest fault here is the SEC telling me what to do with my money. So we'll see how this unfolds. Of course, I'm going to stay on this. If you guys want to see more or hear more about crypto and real estate news, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Thanks for joining us today. We will see you guys next time. Have a great week. And until then, 